Hi, this video will be an introduction to tools in GIMP 2.8. Before I start discussing each tool in detail, I wanted to give you some basic information about the tools in GIMP 2.8. Now, before I start, I wanted to tell you that if your GIMP doesn't look like mine, if you're missing the tool box here with the tools or the two options, I'm going to include two links for two videos in the about section of this video. And in these two videos, you can learn how to set up your workspace and how to solve a lot of problems that may occur when you're just getting started with GIMP. So if you are completely new and you're having trouble uh, with uh, setting up your GIMP, go check out those videos. They will answer a lot of your questions about GIMP interface. Now let's go back to the tools. There is more than one way to select a tool. One of the ways is just to click on the tool. The other way is to use a keyboard shortcut. Note that not all of the tools have keyboard shortcuts. If you want to know the keyboard shortcut of a tool, you can mouse over a tool and you'll get this tooltip with the name of the tool, a brief description and a keyboard shortcut. Now, if you're not getting this tooltip, go to the edit, preferences, help system and check this box here, show tooltips, click OK and then restart GIMP. Another way to view the keyboard shortcuts is to go to the tools menu and you can see here that we have different sections with tools, the selection tools, the paint tools, transform tools, color tools and some other tools here. And this is by the way the third way you can access your tools from the tools menu and you can see the keyboard shortcuts of each tool. Also note that all of these tools are in the toolbox here except for the color tools which uh, you can also access from the colors menu now I've talked about in my preferences videos that you can actually put these color tools in the toolbox if you want to so if you miss those videos go ahead and check them out now also each tool has two options if I select the color tool, for example the hue saturation, you can see that the options for this tool appear in a floating dialog and not here in the tool options. Actually some of the color tools have some tool options, for example curves. If we select this tool you'll see that we have some uh, tool options for this tool, but again uh, the more important options are here in the floating dialog. So basically this is how you can access the different tools in GIMP 2.8. Also, it's a good idea to learn the keyboard shortcuts for the tools that you use uh, most often. And if one of your favorite tools does not have a keyboard shortcut, you can go to the edit menu, choose keyboard shortcuts, and here you can assign a keyboard shortcut to that tool. So that's it for this uh, kind of a quick look on tools in GIMP 2.8. In the next video I'm going to start discussing selection tools in general again and then I'm going to start discussing each tool and tool options in detail and give examples of how we can use each tool to achieve different goals. So that's it for this video, I hope that it was useful and if it was make sure to like it, leave me a comment, subscribe, visit my channel for more and that's it for now, bye.